Okay, this is one of 98 Saturn speed density system. I want to make it easier to understand a vacuum reading as compared to your map reading. And of course, this is in inches of vacuum, just like this vacuum gauge is into the vacuum, but this is in absolute pressure. And what I mean by absolute pressure is let's go look at the barometric pressure. So this altitude around 4,900 feet here in southeast Idaho. Uh, you see barrel yet? There it is, up here. So that's atmospheric air pressure. Now, of course, weather will affect that one 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 inch or two and stuff like that. But go ahead and just floor it to show that that doesn't that's not affected. That's not affected like vacuum is floored again. Again, this is pressure from the atmosphere, and it's absolute pressure. So let's go to the map sensor now. Scroll through, and there we are, back to map 7.9, 25 minus about 16 or 17 inches is pretty close to seven, seven and a half inches of vacuum, isn't it? Okay, so now watching map and watching vacuum. Now, of course, we see things change. So as I, as I floor it, watch what map does. It went close to absolute. One more time. Good went almost absolute pressure. Of course, this vacuum, when I floor it, one more time, goes to zero as it should. And of course, deceleration climbs on a hard deceleration, uh, or I should say a good snap. The deceleration goes about five inches above what we're reading at idle. So that's maybe to help you understand a little bit better why this has reached such a strange value was compared to barometric pressure barrel minus vacuum is manifold absolute.